I never set up my canvas. Oopsie. No, no, don't canvas arranged. It's these four. Second canvas. I can't believe I talked basically the whole last stream about fucking mythology. I'm still ticked off that, like, Roman mythos is just fucking gone. We have, like, names of shit, but then, like, we have nothing else. I know that Rome had different stories about shit, they had new shit, but, like, it's still gone. It's annoying. Is this actually fucking real? No. This is a recolor of a real building. Hello. I was trying to find out if people if we built ziggurats in modern architecture. We don't really build a bunch of these ancient structures anymore. Labyrinths are completely different from mazes. They're not really. But like, the connotation of a labyrinth is completely different from the connotation of a maze. and passages through which one has to find a way. However, the primary difference between them is the fact that a maze is multicursural and a labyrinth is unicursural. It can often be confusing to tell a maze and a labyrinth apart, but it looks, 
both look similar and have the same purpose, which is to fascinate someone with their twisting and complex ways. However, they are somewhat different. Blah 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 blah. However, the primary difference. Blah blah blah. Multicarsal means that the maze has various different paths that join and separate in a branch like network. It also means that a maze may have more than one entry and exit. While a labyrinth only has one entry, one path, and one exit. So yeah, that's the difference. We don't really build labyrinths. People build hedge mazes. What a hedge maze? I don't think a hedge maze could be considered a labyrinth. Because there's not typically just a singular path. There's typically a singular entry and exit, but it's not typically one singular path. A labyrinth seems like it would be a lot harder to build, too. Simply because it cannot... It, it would have to be a singular path. There's nothing saying that it can't have branches off of those paths, but those branches must all be dead ends. For it to remain a labyrinth. So yeah, you could technically have a massive ass labyrinth with a bunch of offshoots, and those offshoots could be fucking massive. As long as it doesn't intersect with any other part of the labyrinth, it would be completely fine. Let's see, out of ziggurats, pyramids, obelisks, and labyrinths. Out of those four ancient structures, we don't really build ziggurats or pyramids unless we're just fucking emulating them. It's not its own architectural style anymore, it's not something that we actively do. And then, labyrinths just aren't a thing that we build, because they're also just not a thing that we build. In fact, I don't- I can't think of any kind of labyrinth other than maybe Gnosis. And even that's disputed. Hi, Haley. How are you? But yeah, it's like, the only thing that people actively still build today is obelisks. The Washington Monument's an obelisk. There, okay, so modern obelisks I would qualify as 19th to 21st century. Nelson Memorial in the UK, 
from 1805. There's a lot. We still build these fuckers. Quite a bit. Oh wait, this one's weird. Constitution Obelisk. The Constitution Obelisk is from St. Augustine, Florida. And it was to mark the Spanish Constitution. In commemoration of the Spanish Constitution of 1812. This was built in 1814. It's very small, very bright white too. Like, not marble kind of white, like chalk kind of white. What is the most recent obelisk to be built? There's a lot. The most recent obelisk to have been built it was in 2018, the, humans, the Human Rights Obelisk of Brussels, Belgium. Let's look it up. Humans Rights Obelisk. Oh, well, the first image I can find of it that I know is it is from Instagram. I can show everyone. Give me a sec. This is the Human Rights Obelisk. Just a. I mean, yeah, but. A 12 meter high, 30, 30 stone obelisk. Thirty articles of declaration are written in French, Dutch, German, and English. On the one hand, the obelisk represents a frozen sunbeam. On the other hand, it symbolizes permanence. Said landscape artist Bas Metz. The color of the natural stones of the monument will capture, reflect, and freeze the sun through the various articles of the Universal Declaration. The obelisk thus materializes the protection of an enlightened idea. I didn't know that such a thing even existed. Uh, to be honest, I was expecting something a lot weirder looking than that. It just went as a basic gradient from darkest at the bottom, lightest on the top. I was expecting something like a patchwork of bricks making the obelisk. Where they were just randomly placed. Uh, 
Anyway. This is fun. Current price for an old school bond, 6.7 mil. It went up 200k. Wow, so you're saying it's a really bad idea to go buy a bond right now. Yeah, it's almost at the highest it's ever been. In the past six months, it has been uh, August 11th, 6.86 mil was the highest it's ever been. The lowest it's ever been was 5.2 mil. I'm hoping that I can get it when it's on a downward trend. Either way, I should grind up to 6 mil, because 6 mil seems to be about the average price. Lowest it's ever been in the past six months was October 3rd.
Oh, I just hit a nine. That's the biggest hit that I've seen in a while. I can now, what? Ten shot them? Yeah, because if I hit all nine, they'll be, they'll be at one HP. If I swap over to accurate, my max should be around 10. We're almost halfway done with our arrows, and we've earned like 400k, 500k, 4 to 500k. I'm gonna drink some water. Yeah. We're hitting nine semi frequently, which is awesome. Yeah, whether you deal damage or not is calculated when you shoot the arrow, not when the arrow hits the enemy, which is weird because it only shows you the damage that you dealt when you hit the enemy, but you can easily tell the damage that you dealt by looking at the XP values over here. Because what it's one damage multiplied by... You just multiply whatever the number is, divide it by four, not multiply, I'm stupid. Shush. I was thinking backwards. But yeah. You can tell that you've done damage before you hit. There's seven damage. Seven more. Seven more. Another seven. And then zero. 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 Another zero. Another seven. Another nine. Four. Yeah, you can just tell. Which is really weird. You shouldn't get the XP until you hit the enemy. Haley called me a pango linen. Not Lennon.
Hey, a full helm. That's pretty nice. Thank you. 
Hey, another full helm. Getting really lucky. Damn. Our, our first million was pain, but our second million has been a lot better.
<sighs> We're about to hit a new level of both magic, 57, uh, hit point 61, and ranged 67. I'm gonna add a canvas for ranged. Yeah, because now I can actually see this.
Am I being attacked because I went to go do fucking... Uh, am I being attacked because I went to go do a event? A random event? I'm pretty sure that's why I'm being attacked. Oh my god, it's so fucking cold. Which is very annoying.
Oh god, I'm so fucking tired. When my sleep schedule is fucked up. I wish that I could just fix it. But it's incredibly hard to fix it once it's fucked up. But once I do fix it, then I'll have it. For until I fuck it up again. Which hopefully would be a while. Uh... Bum 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 bum. There are five aggro range, so if I was standing here, which would allow me to hit this, it would not aggro this while the aggravation is actually on. But standing at least here would. <sighs> Ooh, Ruby. There we go. Let's look and see what my drops currently are. We are at 1,509 Ogress Warriors with 41 Med Helm drops, 18 Full Helm drops, 13 Battle Axe drops, 86. 86 Kite Shields, 2 Shaman Masks, and 49 Diamonds, 53 Sapphires, 58 Emeralds, and 46 Rubies. On top of that, we have dropped just shy of 100k in raw gold. We're gonna at least get uh, an HP rank up, maybe even a magic rank up today on stream specifically might get another brain strength up off stream it depends I still can't fucking unlock the forgotten and it's pissing me off but, uh...
When Fresh Start World started, didn't like a bunch of people like sell shit to take money and shit over to them? It's like doesn't that ru doesn't that ruin the entire fucking concept?
Here it comes. 67. Nice.
Oh, high expensive. I'm also about to level up my magic to 57. What the fuck just happened? I've been at one viewer for like the past two hours, and then all of a sudden you're here and it says five. What the fuck just happened? I'm confused. Da, 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 da. This one. It's just such a weird jump. Well, that kite shield should maybe, hopefully, give me 57. Nope. I need one more or two more items. Yeah, I got. I need 35 XP. Oh, it's going to get a lot higher. We're finally at 1.4 mil now. Up, 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 up. There's only one way that I will ever accept a bond on this account, and it's if my bond runs out, like, right after I fucking die and lose all my money. And I don't have any spare bonds. That's probably going to be the only time that I would ever accept a bond. Because I'm not re-grinding all the fucking ranged gear to come kill ogres again. That sounds like hell. When you buy a bond, you can put it in the bond pouch so you never lose it. Yeah, I know. What I'm saying is if my bond pouch is completely empty, I don't even remember where the fuck the bond pouch is. Whatever. When, it, when I do finally get bonds, if I don't have any spare bonds, and I die, and then my bond runs out, like, in a day, I'll probably be forced to accept a bond, because I'm not gonna fucking grind out another fucking month of ogres.
Because it's not just grinding a month of ogres. It's grinding goblins and then fucking minotaurs and then back to ogres and shit so that I can get the money to buy the gear to grind the ogres to grind the money to buy the bond. Which is annoying as all hell. But I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to not die. Okay. Someone, someone was here the other day. I think it was two days ago, three days ago. I don't fucking remember. <clears throat> but they were saying that you can get like fucking 450k off killing chaos druids or some bullshit. I still have no clue what the fuck chaos druid is. How much money are Chinchampas worth? Yeah, how much are Chinchampas worth? what it was they were saying to do that red chins are 1.3k each or something aren't black chinchampas harder to get i i have no i know about chinchampas and that's like the only thing i know of is there's red and i'm pretty sure there's black i don't know of anything else for hunting there's my magic you can now enchant diamond jewelry. Yeah, but they're caught in the wilderness. I'm probably gonna have to catch them anyway. Uh, let's look at... Black Chin Chompas. Old school runescape. I'm gonna look and see if there's anything tied to them. What's the reason? I want to know if there is a... Like, a, um... An achievement diary achievement or something tied to them. doesn't seem like it so yeah I won't really have to go get black chins but I will have to do a bunch of shit in the wilderness eventually now here's the question when I do have to go into the wilderness do I go in with little to nothing or do I go in with like maxed out gear Ba 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 
Because if we look over here at achievement diary for the wilderness, nothing because they can kill you easily if they got best gear. So even if I had best gear, it still would not be worth to take it. it even if it would probably mean that I could almost get away. Yeah, cut and burn magic logs in the resource area. That's all the way up at the very top of the wilderness in the deepest part. Slay a spiritual mage inside the wilderness god wars dungeon. I don't know how to do that. Steal from rogue's chest. Smith a rune sim from scratch. Fish and cook a dark crab in the resource area. All of this is in the resource area. Teleport to Garok. And then I have to kill Callisto, Venonatus, and Vetian. Like, there's a bunch of shit, and like, a lot of it requires me to go all the way to the deepest part of the wilderness. All the way back here. Both, I need, I would need to go to the agility training area. I'm pretty sure I'd have to go to the pirate's hideout, the mage arena. This area, the resource area, I don't know about the scorpion pit. The rogue's castle, and the fountain of rune. I mean, you are more of a target. If I could zoom out more and have more area loaded to be able to actually see people. If I could see people from my entire view distance, because they can't attack me from all the way over there. They have to be like right around here or some bullshit. But if I could see them from all the way over there, I could quickly just escape world switcher and then swap world. Or log. Logging is probably a very bad idea. Because I know, I know that I have to go to practically everything up here. But I also do know that I have to go to the Lava Dragon Isle as well. I think I have to do Lava Maze. Uh, the Bandit Camp. I think I have to go here as well. I don't know. Uh, I can't. I can't remember like everything. And I knew. And I need to do this too. I need to I need to charge all four of the orb spell. Use all four of these spells. I have to do charge water orb. I'm pretty sure there's other yeah, charge earth orb. Charge fire orb. Where's, where's wind orb? Is there not a wind orb? This is weird. I guess there just isn't a wind orb. Level 67. Charge air or what the why is air so much higher than everything else? What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, you have to use all four of those. And then I'd have to go unlock I'd have to spend a lot of time at the mage arena to unlock all the god spells. Plus then I would have to damage someone in the wilderness with the god with one of the god spells. Do, 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 do. 
The Wilderness Diary is fucking mildly terrifying. What are the requirements for all of the Wilderness Diary? I would need 85 mining, 90 smithing, 85 fishing, 90 cooking, 75 fire making, 75 wood cutting, 83 slayer, 96 magic, 84 thieving, 60 uh, agility, 60 strength. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'd also have to do a bunch of quests. But I'm not mining, Courtney. What are you talking about? What? I just finished an entire bottle of water like half a second ago. The skills are easy. I mean, it's not saying that I need like 99 Runecraft, 99 Slayer. Quest requirements, Enter the Abyss, Death Plateau, Mage Arena 1, and Desert Treasure. Question. Isn't there a Slayer Master? <laughs> no, stop it. Isn't there a Slayer Master that tells you t I'll do it again, but give me a spit. Isn't there a Slayer Master that tells you exactly where to kill your Slayer monsters that gives almost as much XP as doing it in the wilderness? That's something I learned like a day or two ago. Why so many channel point redeems? Three. The, the re channel point redeem is fun because if you redeem it, you don't know if I'm gonna scream it at the top of my lungs or if I'm gonna be really fucking quiet. Crack it! Crack it! Ah. Crack it! Mm. Yes, you are a crackhead. I need more sounds. But no one no one's giving me fucking I need more sounds for my sound alerts. I have sounds that are only available through uh bits as well below the stream. But I need more sounds for both bits and for channel points. And no one's giving me fucking things that I should put there. It's funny you want to go to the wilderness so soon? No. I am not going to the wilderness until I have every single thing that I absolutely need to get the wilderness diary done. Meaning, like... I would need level 90 plus skills before I even touch the wilderness. I'm not going there unless I absolutely need to. Oh, what's my reward for even doing the wilderness diary? Other than obelisk teleports being better. A wilderness sword one. Antique lamp, wilderness lever can teleport you to either Edgeville or Argentine. Ten random free runes from Lunadile. Then medium. Uh, wilderness sword two, another antique lamp. Increase the chance of a successful yield from Ents by 15%. 20% off entry to resource area, 6,000 GP. You can have four ecumenical keys at one time. 20 random free runes from Loon Dial at once per day. Access to shortcut in the deep wilderness dungeon requires 46 agility. And then a hard would get Wilderness Slayer, Wilderness Sword 3, 
one free teleport to the Fountain of Rune daily, another antique lamp, 50% more lava shards per lava scale, access to the shortcut to the lava dragon isle at 74 agility and access to the shortcut at lava maze for 82 agility can have can have five new ecune medical keys at a time 30 random free runes from Loon Dial once per day. Able to choose your destination when teleporting through the ancient obelisks. 50% off the resource area and tree fee, which is 3,750. The wine of Zamorak found in the Chaos Simple Hut and Deep Wilderness Dungeon will be received in noted form. And then at Elite, Wilderness Sword 4, unlimited free teleports to the Fountain of Rune, and another antique lamp. Free entry to the resource area. All dragon bone drops in the wilderness are noted, which does not include the King Black Dragon because his lair is not affected by the wilderness. Noted lava dragon bones can be toggled by speaking the lesser fanatic. 50 random free runes from Loon Dial once per day. Increased dark crab catch rate. Now here's the question. What the fuck is a wilderness sword? The Wilderness Sword 4 is a reward for completing the Wilderness Diary task given by, by the Lesser Fanatic in Edgeville. choose where to go with the obelisk right so good yeah what I'm gonna do is just straight up r bum rush the entire wilderness diary the second that I get into the wilderness I'm gonna like try my best to plan out a route in the wilderness to take to do everything as fast as I can to go throughout the entirety of the wilderness and do everything the hardest part is the maze arena by far just to unlock the fucking spells. The, the issue is I can't do achievement diaries without being a member. They're member only. Which I hate a lot. Yeah, each and every one of those lamps that I get is going to go straight into HP. Each and every one of them.
How much of the game could you feasibly play with as low a level skills as possible? How much could you do with all level 1s? That's it. <laughs> There's not a single quest that you'd be able to do in the game with all level 1 skills outside of free to play. Cuz I can think of at least one quest off the top of my head. Are there accounts that just have like 120 in all their combat stats and like literally zero XP in anything else? Because I feel like that's a thing. Those people exist with with like maxed out uh, uh, combat skills. There's got to be people that max out their skill, their other skills, but not their combat ones. Drops aren't dragon bones from King Black Dragon noted anyway? No, they're not. Isn't something that he drops noted? I thought something that he dropped was noted. Oh, yeah, he drops 100 noted gold ore. And 150 noted U logs. And 100 noted silver ore. I'm probably gonna end my stream here, by the way, because I'm getting yelled for, which means I probably need to go cook, and I don't know how long that's gonna take. So, yeah. Sad. I'll continue to grind post stream. But you go have fun over at Wood. 